Welcome back. Let us practice what you just learned before the break. Linda and his friends are preparing for the soccer match. They recorded the maximum temperatures for seven days. The collected temperatures were represented on a graph. Identify the lowest temperature. Remember, we said the lowest temperature is your minimum value. And now let us have a look at this. Then when looking at this graph, this is not the lowest value. This is just the first value. But now you need the value that is just at the bottom. And the one which is at the bottom is this one. And can we identify what the lowest value is? The lowest value, because this is 15, I want you to be able to read the values in between because you can see that there's a, there's a difference of 5 between the two. It means it's going to be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. First, make sure that you are able to identify the values between the two and then so that you can be able to tell the exact value. So this value then is 16. So we say the lowest value is 16, but now there are units there. The temperature is in degrees Celsius. So then the lowest value is 16 degrees Celsius, uh, which was taken on Friday. Okay, let us continue with the next question. Which days are showing the decrease in temperature? So remember, we said for the decrease, the slope will be going downwards. So if the shape is going downwards, this will sh is showing uh, the decrease in the temperature. Here it's an increase, it's a decrease, it's an increase, and it's another increase. So now let us have a look at the days. So it means from Tuesday to Friday, we, uh, there was a decrease in temperature. Then your answer is going to be Tuesday. You can mention all the days or you can say Tuesday to Friday. You are still right when you answer it like this. Or you can say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Those are the days which were showing the decrease in temperature. So the next question, give a possible reason for the decrease in temperature. The possible reasons uh, might be that there was a cold front due to rainfall. There are many possible reasons that I think you are also thinking of. But make sure that as you give the possible reasons, you give the reasons which are very relevant to the context and which are also applicable to the context. You know, when there is a cold front, the temperatures are decreasing. When the rain is falling, the temperatures are also decreasing. Those might be the possible reasons. So let us continue with the next question. Identify the hottest day. So the hottest day basically will be the one which is showing the maximum temperatures. So the maximum temperature is the highest value in the graph. So we have to check. If you look at the graph, the highest point in the graph is this one. So this is the highest point. But now the question is about the day. We needed to identify the hottest day, not the temperature. So looking at this point, then the highest temperature was on Tuesday. Therefore, your answer is Tuesday. So as you answer these questions, please make sure that you read your questions thoroughly. You don't give us the temperature when the question requires the days. So make sure that you read your question and you answer exactly what has been asked in the question. Okay, now let us move to the next concept. The next concept is the bar graph. So now what is a bar graph? A bar graph is a graph in which bars are used to represent the information. So the information is represented in the form of graphs. And then it is used to represent once more the discrete data. So what is discrete data? 
the discrete data is the data with values which can be counted. That is also important for you to know what discrete data is. Okay, now uh, the other thing that we need to know is how do you identify the maximum value in the bar graph? We say the maximum value will be the highest bar. So the bar which is higher will show you the maximum value and the lowest or the shorter bar will uh, tell you that there is the minimum value. So that is the only important things that you need to know as we are solving questions based on the bar graph. Let us take this first example. Identify the dependent variable. So we say the dependent variable is the variable which is depending on another one, the one which you can measure, which you can be able to uh, read the data from. So we say the number of learners, therefore, is a dependent variable because uh, the weeks are not depending on the number of learners. So the number of learners are the dependent variable. Determine the week with the highest number of attendees. Remember, we said the highest point will be shown by the graph, which is bigger. So week four is the one. And then how many learners have attended in week two? So let us have a look at week two. This is the second week. In week two, because we say this value is 80, and then we say this one is 100, therefore we say the number of learners which have attended, because it's exactly on this line of 100, therefore it's going to be 100. Finally, we say describe the trend from week three to week five. So to describe the trend from week three to week five, we say from week three to week four, it was increasing because you can see that it was going up. And from week four to week five, it was decreasing because it was going down. So now let us just get the practice from this. The first question, like he has recorded the results of his top 10 learners and represented it on the graph out of 200 marks. Study the graph and answer the following questions. Identify the minimum marks obtained. Lucky enough with this graph, the values are given. So the minimum mark obtained is 80. And which learner has attained the second highest marks? So now you look at the marks. The highest mark is 196. The second highest is 195. So the learner who got the second highest is therefore Lena H. I believe that you have learned a lot from this lesson and you are going to apply it and get more practice so that uh, you get better marks in your uh, classes. So I want to say have a great day. See you next time. Thank you.